<laughs> well, uh, the last uh, after after you guys killed the penalty, you made seven saves in the last in two minutes after the penalty kill. Uh, what was what was it like having the, tonight? Yeah, you know, just the game. Yeah. In this game. Yeah. No, I mean, championship game. The whole season's on the line. I mean, all the work you've done since May. Um, it was time to kind of show what we. would We've done, and uh, I mean, it was a massive team effort, and it was awesome to get this win. Um, we're we're looking forward to the next step. Were there times tonight where you were wondering to yourself that how did that puck not go in? <laughs> um, no, I think just as a goalie, you just got to stay in the moment and just worry about the next shot. And uh, obviously, wasn't too happy with giving up two there in the first, but uh, the guys battled back and got that third one. And we just locked it down, so it was a big team effort. With the yeah, offense so. that they have, with the offense that they have, just how you know, locked in, do you have to be just every single moment knowing that a shot's probably coming at you, especially with the one goal lead? Yeah, I mean, their their offense is incredible. I mean, they've relied on it all year, and uh, it's the best in the country. So um, they're great at uh, getting pucks to the net and battling and uh, winning those in, in tight net battles. So, uh, I mean, the guys in front of me were doing an incredible job of blocking stuff out, but it was uh, definitely a fun game to play in. Kale, can you talk about the defensive focus? You just said the guys in front of you, you know, uh, O'Leary, blocks a, uh, something that was going to the net. Um, you know, the forwards were back checking, blocking shots, and of course your defensemen were, were trying to clear out the front. Can you just talk about that defensive focus? Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, from top to bottom, everyone was contributing. I mean, uh, we we're, were bending but not breaking, so it was awesome to see that. And I mean, defense win championships, as you saw tonight, and it was a team effort. A couple Big Ten championships now in two years. Uh, back-to-back -back Frozen Fours. Obviously, you guys now have a chance to go for a third one. Just what does that kind of postseason success say about the program here, especially just kind of nationally? Um, I think that's just Notre Dame in a nutshell right there. I mean, we're, we're accustomed to winning. That's why you come here. You come here to win championships. You come here to become a better person, student, and uh, athlete. So, I mean, it's just uh, it's Notre Dame. Tonight was Coach Jackson's 500th career victory. What does it mean to you to, to play for him, and, and what does he mean to you? Yeah, it's an honor. I mean, I don't think you'll ever hear him say that uh, he has 500 or anything like that. He's pretty humble and he likes to deflect it. But, uh, I mean, kudos to him. And, I mean, we wouldn't be where we are today as a program and as a team today without him. What's he meant to you? Uh, you know, because he's worked with you and over the things and stuff like that and the encouragement he's given you through the years. Yeah, I mean, throughout my three years here, our relationship has only grown. And, um, I mean, I look at him as a big mentor and a friend and um, someone that I can rely on for any kind of life situation or hockey or just personal life, so he's uh, definitely someone special to me. Yeah. Okay. How does it feel knowing that you're going to go to bed tonight, knowing your name's going to be called tomorrow? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, uh, we knew we knew what was at stake here, and uh, I think all the guys rose to the occasion, so it was a, a fun environment to play in front of. I mean, the, the crowd was incredible, so it was, uh, it was a blast. Okay, when you were sitting behind Cal, um, could you have pictured kind of the last couple of years that you've had, you know, Richter Award and obviously playing in these huge games that you have and, you know, coming out on top of most of them? Uh, I don't know if you could draw it up like it's gone so far, but uh, I knew we had a great group of guys. I mean, the senior class, my class, I mean, even the freshman and sophomore class, everyone's contributing. So, uh, I mean, Notre Dame, we're used to uh, being in the situ these situations and stuff, so I don't know if it was a surprise, but it's uh, definitely been a fun ride. When you were... At one point in, in the second period, and in, in the second period there was a there was a break where they could clean the ice. And when uh, as you were going back into the net, you were talking to an official. What were you talking to him about? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's just well, in the moment. Not? Uh, no, it was just I can't remember. I just just playing the game, having fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> After the uh, when you were doing the. Uh, post-game interview on the ice, you said we're just getting started. Just how quickly do you guys kind of flip that switch from celebrating to this and now focusing on, hey, we have a few more games and, you know, we can get back to the Frozen Four? Yeah, I mean, we've been playing um, playoff hockey for the last month and a half, two months here, and uh, it's been do or die situations, so it's nothing, nothing new to us, and it's just a new challenge, and we're looking forward to uh, seeing who we're going to get to play and just working towards them that next step and getting back to work Monday. Speak a little bit more to the environment we uh, in the tonight. Was that as as great as in Rapid or Clayton here? Yeah, it was electric. I mean, the band brings it every night. Can't say enough about them. The student section was awesome. I mean, the community support around Notre Dame speaks for itself. I mean, sellout crowd. I don't know all the accolades they got, but it was incredible. I mean, they definitely helped us um, keep momentum in the game. Thank you. Um, 
guy gave you a huge compliment. He says he can't figure you out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you're going to say it's just not you, it's the guys in front of you. What do you do with the guys now going forward? And Keep them focused. Uh, yeah, I think we just stay in the moment and just uh, get back to work Monday and just uh, view it as a process and just uh, one step at a time here and don't get too high or low and just really focus on getting better each day.